Sound suppression water system now being armed for release. T minus one minute. Space shuttle now on internal power. Solid rocket booster flight data recorders are now activated. Oxygen and hydrogen filler valves are now closed. T minus 40 seconds. Handing off to Atlantis' computers at T minus 31. 35. 33. The clock will hold at T minus 31 seconds due to a failure. And we have had a failure. We will wait as Mission Control assesses the situation. We are holding here at 31 seconds while we get a verification that the GDA has fully retracted. And we verify retracted. All right, we are clear to proceed. All personnel, we are going to pick up the clock momentarily and the clock will resume on my mark. Three, two, one. Mark. T minus 30 seconds. Handoff to Atlantis' computers has occurred. Solid rocket booster steering nozzle in check. 20. Firing chain is on. 15. Go for main engine start. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. All three engines up and burning. 2, 1, 0. And liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis on the shoulders of the space shuttle. America will continue the dream. Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis. The space shuttle spreads its wings for one final time for the start of the sentimental journey into history. Roger roll, Atlantis. 24 seconds into the flight. Roll program complete. Atlantis now heads down, wings level in proper alignment on this eight and a half minute ride into orbit. Four and a half billion pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Space Station. Forty seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines throttling back to 72 percent of rate of performance in the bucket, reducing stress on the shuttle as it goes transonic for the final time. Engines now revving up, standing by for the throttle up call. Atlantis, go with throttle up. No action. DT, DT. The call for instrumentation only. No action required. Atlantis now 15 miles in altitude, already 16 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. One minute, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlantis flexing its muscles for one final time. Atlantis traveling almost 2,600 miles an hour, 21 miles in altitude, 24 miles down range, standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirmed staging a good solid rocket booster separation, guidance now converging, the main engine steering the shuttle on a pinpoint path to its preliminary orbit. Atlantis traveling 3,200 miles an hour, flying on its singular power of its three main engines, draining almost half a ton of fuel per second from the large fuel tank. Now approaching the two minute mark into the flight, Atlantis will continue on this two day journey toward the International Space Station as it ends the nearly four decade journey of the space shuttle program. The final voyage of 135 flights, five shuttles, and 355 crew members. The end of an era, yet only the beginning in mankind's continuous quest for exploration and understanding of our universe. And we have liftoff. Liftoff of America's first space shuttle. And the shuttle has cleared the tower. Back there, Roger roll. And we have liftoff. Liftoff of mission 41D, the first flight of the orbiter discovery, and the shuttle has cleared the tower. And liftoff. Liftoff of the orbiter Challenger and the sixth flight of the space shuttle. The shuttle has cleared the tower. Booster ignition and liftoff of the maiden voyage of Endeavor on a satellite rescue mission. Ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of Atlantis. A new orbiter joins the shuttle fleet and it has cleared the tower.